Hi, welcome to my chaotic kitchen. Let's make the things to make dinner nachos. Um, so what you're gonna want is some beef. This is the kind that I use. Um, I defrosted it from the freezer last night. We're gonna cook it up. Um, I've got a big pan on with some avocado oil, some spices. We're gonna throw that in in just a second. So the other toppings that you're gonna want, um, I have some blue corn tortilla chips, right? That's gonna be used eventually. Now you're not gonna see the final product. Um, I've also got a can of black beans and a can of corn that we're gonna drain and rinse and put in a container. I got two green peppers that we're gonna dice and chop. Um, we're also going to add in guac and salsa, which I already have in my fridge. Um, I use the little, these guys, the single serve guacs, cause they're great, uh, from Holy Guacamole. And then I have my salsa here as well that we're also gonna top with. Now I do have cheese in here for my significant other because he can have cheese and I cannot. Um, so top with cheese if you want. Um, and basically you just put everything together. You can add rice on top of this, really bulk it up because the, the main thing isn't the chips here. The main thing is all of the toppings. Um, so basically we're gonna get all the toppings ready because you can get things ready way beforehand for dinner nachos. Um, and then that's it. Then you put it together when you want nachos. Um, so we're gonna cook up this ground beef. Like I said, I got my oil already heating in the pan. Move you guys over here. So we've got our ground beef in our pan. Here it's sizzling. Chop it up a bit. Now that that's doing, let's add our seasoning. We got salt. We got paprika. Cumin. Chili powder. And no, I don't measure, and I will never measure spices anything but my heart, garlic and onion powder. And we're gonna mix that in. So that it coats all of our meat. We're gonna let that cook while we do the other parts of this dinner that we're making at eight in the morning. Okay. I'm gonna leave that spoon in there. All right, bringing you guys over here. Let's get our canned stuff done. So again, we got our canned corn, we got our black beans. I'm going to open these up. I have a colander in my sink that I'm going to just dump these into. Rinse them out and we're gonna put them in a container. But you can see how dinner nachos is going to be a complete meal because you're adding in so much to it that you have a really nice complete meal 
full of protein and fat and carbs and veggies. So you have lots of fiber in there. You got whole grains in there. And now we drain. container after we mix up our ground beef again. The nice thing about dinner nachos is multitasking. All right, we got our container. Hopefully it's big enough. And we're putting in our corn and our black bean mixture into our container. So all we have to do is top, which is nice. gonna go into the fridge. Next thing we're gonna do is get our container for our green peppers that we're gonna chop. We're gonna stir that ground beef again. Chop up our veggies. We've got our two green peppers. So remember how I say to cut your peppers, bottom, top. This part gets tossed. Cut a few slits in. Green peppers are ones that don't like to cooperate uh, when it comes to cutting. So sometimes there's a little bit extra in there that you're gonna have to cut out, which is fine. Again, bottom. Top green part at the top comes out, your stem. Make a couple of slits. This one cooperated a lot better than the other one. And then you're either gonna throw this into your compost, your trash, or you're gonna save it to make that veggie broth. Okay, mine goes in the trash. So we're gonna stir our meat. Which is already almost done, which is great. Everything will kind of be done at the same time. So I like to cut this into threes or fours, just like how we dice up for the Greek bowls. Same type of thing. Fours, line them up, chop them. Just enough so you're getting a crunch. Now you can use jalapeno peppers. If you wanna use jalapeno peppers, that's fine. 
you want a little bit more spice, you want to season a little differently, if you have a specific like taco seasoning that you like, all of those things you can kind of play around with dinner nachos. This is just like a very basic dinner nacho. I like spice, but I don't like a lot of it. Um, so you will not see me cutting up a jalapeno to be going on my nachos. I will just take a green pepper instead. You could also do like roasted poblanos because those are not as spicy uh, to me. So you can always roast those up and chop them up, put those on. I like the crunch factor in my foods. And it's just a rough chop. Again, it doesn't have to be a lot. Like all exact pieces or anything like that. Let's stir our meat. I'm gonna turn my burner off just because this is basically done. But the pan is still gonna stay warm. So I am able to uh, let it continue cooking off a little bit. Again, we are just chopping with the crappiest knife I own. But it's very easy, it's very simple, it's quick to get together, um, which is something we all like when things are quick. Again, with the crappiest knife I own, so I gotta re chop a couple things, but that's fine. Really need a knife sharpener or just some new knives. <laughs> Looks like I miss a spot. Sometimes the butts of greens. Uh, You have to chop her out in some spots and that's fine. All right, our green pepper is chopped. Throw this little guy out. And that is your fresh, right? We always wanna have a fresh, our fiber, is also gonna be in there. Our fiber is also going to be, it was not put on correctly. Uh, our fiber is also going to be in the beans and the corn. Uh, we got whole grains in the corn and the corn tortilla chips and the regular corn. Uh, we've got our protein in the black beans and the beef. We have our fat in the guacamole. We have salsa, which again is also gonna be another fresh on here. So you've got all components of a complete meal in these nachos and it's a phenomenal time to be alive. Um, we're just going to finish cooking off our beef and then I'm gonna put this in a container, which you guys don't need to be here for. But all you gotta do is put all this stuff together, done. Dinner nachos in roughly 15 minutes. Uh, if you got any questions on it, feel free to drop a comment below.